in this lesson, we are going to talk about ventricular fibrillation or VFib. It is a very, very, very important rhythm to understand because patients in VFib are in cardiac arrest and we need to do something immediately before they die. Basically, when you see this rhythm, it, it they will go asystole pretty soon if something is not done. So let's talk about it and how we can identify it and treat it. So in ventricular fibrillation, the ventricles are just quivering. There is absolutely no cardiac output. The ventricles are just sitting there just doing this. No blood is going in and no blood is going out. So there is no pulse. There is no output. They are basically dead. We have got to do something about it and we have got to start CPR immediately. This rhythm is very common in patients who are having a heart attack or have severe coronary artery disease. And again, if left untreated, after a while, you'll just see asystole. So let's talk about the characteristics of VFib. So it is actually pretty simple to do the six step method because there's not really much you can do. The rhythm is going to be irregular. Heart rate, there's no heart rate. There's no way. It is just quivering erratically. So there's no way to measure a heart rate. Um, the P to QRS ratio, it is not measurable because there's no P waves. There's no QRS. Number four, the PR interval, not measurable because there's no way to be able to look at that. Number five, the QRS complex. The atria are just quivering. It is not contracting. So there is no QRS complex. It is not measurable. Step number six, when you see all this, it is obviously VFib. So sometimes all you got to look for is this wavy baseline and you know that it's VFib. Um, it is one of those rhythms that when you see this, you have got to make a jump for it, go in the room, and all you got to be thinking about is I have got to start CPR on this person and somebody's got to bring the defibrillator and we're going to call a code. It is that significant, okay? So since the people who are in VFib have no cardiac output, the patient presentations, they're in cardiac arrest, okay? They are dying. There is nothing. The priority nursing interventions are to follow the ACLS guidelines. You got to start CPR as soon as possible. Defibrillate them. Defibrillating them right away is the only chance they'll get to going back into a normal sinus rhythm or some type of rhythm where they do have cardiac output. We can give them epinephrine and we can give them amiodarone um, to try to get that rhythm to come back to a normal rhythm. Epi would be th every three to five minutes and amiodarone would be a bolus and then a drip. However, whenever people have VFib, the best chance that they have to convert to a normal sinus rhythm is getting defibrillated as soon as possible. So once you see this, you call a code, you you start CPR, you call a code, defibrillator comes, you defibrillate them, and then you start doing some meds. And hopefully, hopefully you get these patients back. So the key points to remember from this very short lesson are the abnormalities about VFib. The, the ventricles are just fibrillating. There is absolutely no contraction going on there is no cardiac output and your patient is in full cardiac arrest. Nursing interventions, you just gotta quickly follow the ACLS guidelines. Do CPR, defibrillate and medications according to the ACLS guidelines. And basically you do CPR every two minutes and um, until you do a rhythm check and medications every three to five minutes or however often you need to. Again, ventricular fibrillation is not one of those rhythms that you wait to see, oh, is this really happening? No, you do something about it right away. Not too long ago, we had a patient in the cath lab who everything was going okay. And then all of a sudden he went into VFib. So first thing we do is somebody gets over there to try to start doing compressions. I run to the machine and we shock him. He comes back. 
and goes into a sinus bradycardia for maybe 10 seconds and then goes back into V-fib. So this whole going into V-fib, I think we shocked him about 10 different times because he had severe CAD. There was no way that we could open up any of those vessels because it kept reoccluding on, on us right on the table. After maybe about an hour, the physician finally called it. And so it, that was it. There's nothing else that we could have done. We had shocked this guy so many times. We had given him amiodarone, magnesium, lidocaine, epi. We, we did everything we could. And then all of a sudden, you just see his rhythm, NV fib, to all of a sudden, nothing. And then maybe one little contraction, and then nothing. So that is how important V fib is. They are in cardiac arrest. You must follow the ACLS guidelines to try to save these people and bring them back. Until, you know, unless it's been going on for so long, and then it's up to the physician for them to call the code. Or I'm sorry, or, or terminate the code. But hopefully we bring them back before the code is terminated. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this quick lesson regarding VFib and feel more comfortable knowing what to do when you see this rhythm. Make sure that you check out all of the resources that are attached to this lesson. And as always, go out and be your best selves today and happy nursing.